strokes basically allow you to see your path. To give your paths a weight and make them visible, a better understanding of strokes always comes in handy. First of all, make a rectangle by using the Shape tool and select it. On the right side of your page, there is a stroke panel. The weight option tells the current points your outline stroke has. You can increase its width by choosing a different number. For example, in this case, we have used 16 point for our weight. Increasing it makes the stroke thicker. There are various options which you can apply on your stroke as well. As you select the rectangle, you will be able to see that the path lies at the center of the stroke. If you change the Align Stroke option from the right, the stroke can either move inside the path or outside, depending on which option you choose. Furthermore, even the corners of the rectangle can be changed. Zoom in to the corner of the shape to see this more clearly. Right now, the corner has a pointed edge. You can make it curved or chop off the edge. Zoom out of the page to see your complete page. Now, draw two lines on the side of the rectangle. You can change the end of these lines, that is, its cap. Zoom in on the line to get a better view. If you make a rounded or a squared cap, Illustrator will make it outside the anchor point. 